My name is uh, Neil Kitchen. I'm a consultant neurosurgeon uh, who's worked at the National Hospital Queen Square as a consultant since 1995. And I, amongst my other responsibilities, I am the medical director of the um, Gamma Knife Unit in Queen Square. Gamma Knife is a form of very focused uh, radiation which can be used uh, intracranially. So it's not of any use if there are problems elsewhere in the body, but uh, for pathologies within the head, it is a, an excellent tool to accurately deliver high doses of radiation. And for that, what one needs is uh, an, a, a very secure head fixation system to keep the head still during scanning and, and also treatment. And secondly, imaging. So we are entirely dependent on high quality MRI, CT and angiography. I should also say there's another way of fixating the head, which is which we now use on occasions, that's the mask. So this is uh, very good on occasions, uh, particularly when patients are um, not going to be compliant with frame fixation or have had previous um, brain surgery and um, problems with bone fixation from those operations and so we can't apply the frame to the head. It does have a disadvantage however in that some patients don't like the mask. So I'm a neurosurgeon so I not only um, do operations on people I also um, deliver radiation. There is a difference between those two treatments. With the surgery it's uh, often greater risk and all the side effects tend to be immediate. With a gamma knife, the procedure is usually safer and the side effects are pretty minimal. However, that's not the whole story because any side effects which can occur do occur in a delayed fashion, uh, sometimes several months later when uh, the patients are in a, in a sense out of the physician's orbit. And so I do tell patients who have radiation treatment, yes, we can do some safe treatment here for you. And you can come in and have treatment and as a day case and you go home the same day. So that's, that's wonderful. But um, you have to be aware that there can be some side effects, significant side effects, which can occur um, you know, later on, which, which can have consequences. So for example, that could include um, headache, uh, it could occasionally include a, a seizure as the tumour uh, swells up slightly with the treatment sometimes. And also the, 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 the portion of the brain immediately surrounding the tumour does also receive some radiation. So that can also react. And any symptoms like this can actually last a few months if they do occur because it takes a while for that process to settle down again. So it, although it is a minimal access day case treatment, it's not, it's not minimally invasive in some respects. We're still delivering a lot of energy in, in, into the, into the uh, tumour we're treating. And so uh, what I would say to the patients is that yes, the treatment is straightforward, but we're not going to know for a few months how you've reacted both positively and also with side effects. So when one is discussing the treatment of multiple cerebral metastases with gamma knife, you have to think of the practicality of the treatment, but also what it represents to the patient. So for example, the patient may have the same amount of disease in their brain with two metastases or 20 metastases. So they might have two big ones or 20 smaller ones. Those two scenarios are different. So it's not number which is the issue quite often, it's the amount, overall amount of disease which is important and how that's occurred. So yes, it is possible now to treat many small metastatic tumours up to a very large number. I wouldn't like to have a limit on it. But there comes a, comes at a price because uh, that takes the treatment times a lot longer. So we have to look at the overall prognosis for the patient and their performance status, meaning how well they are. 
to determine whether it's appropriate to treat uh, so many lesions. We have to balance what we can do technically to what we ought to be doing and we always defer back to the patient's oncologist who are looking after the whole patient and the whole patient issues. Normally when we talk about gamma knife we talk about single fraction delivery which means treating in one session but that's not always what we do and there are various reasons for that. It could be that the patient has a very large um, cancerous tumour, a metastatic tumour, which we feel cannot be removed surgically and the patient is otherwise in reasonable um, health and it wouldn't be safe to treat in one fraction. What we do is we give, deliver a lower dose in three sessions, each session two weeks apart. Okay, so that's a sort of gentler treatment. And we do see good results in that, in, in the medium term, in shrinking the tumour down with uh, less side effects than if we were to give it in a single dose. However, there are other ways of delivering the radiation not in a single fraction. So for example, if there are too many metastases to treat on one day, we do do another half the following day, which is a different way of talking about fractionated treatment. There's another group of patients with intracranial tumours where we use fractionation, and that is those patients who have tumours usually in the bottom of the head, what we call the skull base, around very eloquent areas, such as the optic nerves, that's the nerves which to do with sight, or the brain stem. And if we really cannot treat safely in those circumstances with one fraction, we will do a fractionated uh, treatment schedule, which is usually uh, three or five fractions uh, on consecutive days. But the fractionation we're talking about is up to five fractions normally. So the question may arise about um, you know, what advice I have to patients who are thinking about um, gamma knife as a form of treatment. And I suppose the answer is I will speak to a doctor who has experience not just in gamma knife, but has treatment in, uh, has experience in a number of treatment modalities regarding to what's the, what's matter with the patient, because it's, 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 it's not the answer to everything. It's a very, very useful adjunct and treatment option, but there are also other options which are also need to be considered and weighed up.